Hi, Angelo. Well, how did you feel when you were given out at that point of time? And had you done it differently if you were there at the other end? Yeah, because I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I have two minutes to get to the crease and get myself ready, which I did. And then it was an equipment malfunction. And I don't know where the common sense went uh, because obviously it's obviously disgraceful from uh, Shakib and Bangladesh if they want to play cricket like that. Obviously stooped down to that level, I think there's something wrong um, drastically. Because, uh, you know, if I got late, if I got past my two minutes to get to the crease, and in the losses, you have to be ready within the two minutes. And I was there two minutes, 45 or 50 seconds. I still had, after my um, helmet broke off, I still had five more seconds to go. And the umpires also have uh, um, said to our coaches that they didn't see my helmet breaking. I mean, I was just asking for my helmet uh, there. So it was just pure common sense. I'm not talking about um, uh, mancading or obstructing the field here. This is just pure common sense and bringing the game into, you know, disrepute. It's absolutely um, disgraceful. Angelo, you spoke about uh, the Bangladesh players' uh, behavior being um, absolutely not on. What about uh, the behavior of your own players, not, uh, I mean, refusing to shake hands with the opposition? Yeah, you need to respect people who respect us. Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, they have to respect the game itself. I mean, we all are ambassadors of this beautiful game, including the umpires. So then, uh, if you don't respect and if you don't use your common sense, what more can you ask for? Um, Matthews, uh, so earlier in the press conference, uh, Shakib said that uh, both of you guys have a long history. You've been playing from a 19 age and uh, both, of, uh, both of you know each other and uh, he was talking and uh, he didn't have any regrets. Uh, any thoughts of that? Yeah, so I mean, see up to today I had utmost respect to him and, uh, and Bangladesh team. Obviously, you know, you all play to win. And if it's within the rule, it's fine. But the rule clearly says, uh, in, my, in my incident today, within two minutes I was there. We have video evidence. We will put out a statement later on. We have video evidence, footage, everything was looked. I'm not just, just coming and saying things here. I'm talking with proof. So uh, we have the video evidence where from the, the time was the, uh, the catch was taken. And then from the time um, I walked into the crease, I still had five seconds after breaking my helmet, right? So we talk about safety of the players, right? And you, you guys tell me if it's right for me to take my guard um, without my helmet on. It's just pure common sense. And, and, and that's why I think the umpires also had a bigger job at the time because they could have at least gone back and checked. Um, so we, th we talk about player safety and a wicket keeper for the spinner is not, uh, you know, they don't let him keep without his helmet. So how can I take my guard without my helmet? It's complete equipment malfunction.